Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Publisher provides you with a quick and easy way to create a product catalog by using the Catalog Pages feature. This feature will allow you to create a product catalog that contains information such as product name, description, price, and picture. Once you have that information, you can easily merge it into the Catalog Pages in Publisher to create a custom product catalog. To insert catalog pages into your publication, select the page within the navigation pane that is immediately before the place where you want to insert catalog pages within your publication. Then click the Catalog Pages button that appears within the Pages button group on the Insert tab within the ribbon. Publisher will then insert the catalog merge pages into your publication. The catalog pages appear as a single selectable object within the navigation pane. When they are selected, you will see the Catalog Merge area appear within your publication page. This is the area into which you will place the merge fields from your product data source. This area will also be repeated for each record in your product data source. Objects placed outside of this area, such as page numbers, will not. You should also see the Format tab of the Catalog Tools Contextual tab appear within the ribbon. Select this tab to access the groups of buttons that will allow you to complete the product catalog creation. To associate the data source with the catalog pages, click the Add List button in the Start button group on the Format tab of the Catalog Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. If you want to create a new product list, then select the Type a New List command to open the New Product List dialog box. Here you can enter a product name, description, ID, price, and picture into the fields available. This dialog box functions in the exact same way that the new address list dialog box does. Once you have finished entering your product records, you can then click the OK button to save the file and open the Catalog Merge Product List dialog box. If you want to select an existing product data source, select the Use an Existing List command from the Add List button's drop-down menu. Publisher will then open the Select Data Source dialog box, which you can use to choose the existing product data source. You can then click the Open button and select any tables or worksheets from the data source if necessary. That will then open the Catalog Merge product list just as when creating a new product list. Less commonly used, is the Choose from Outlook Contacts command that you can select from the Add List button's drop-down menu. This would be useful if you had contact information stored in an Outlook Contacts folder and you wanted to merge that into something like an employee handbook or a departmental reference guide. If you wish to do this, then select the Outlook Contact folder that you want to set as the data source and click the OK button. Once you have associated the data source with the catalog pages, the Catalog Merge Product List dialog box will appear. However, if it does not appear, you can click the Edit List button in the Start button group on the Format tab of the Catalog Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to open it. You will use this dialog box in the same way that you use the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box. Once you have selected the desired records to use for the Catalog Merge within this dialog box, you would simply click the OK button. You can choose what type of product layout you want to use for your catalog pages by selecting a desired layout from the list shown within the Layout button group on the Format tab of the Catalog Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Depending on the layout you select, you will also see on-screen instructions about where it would be best to place the data within the sections of your catalog pages. To create your own custom layout of columns and rows of information, you can click the Rows and Columns button in the Layout button group on the Format tab of the Catalog Tools Contextual tab, and then click into the grid to choose the number of columns and rows from the grid provided. You can also select the desired fill order for the columns and rows by choosing your preferred choice from the Fill Order drop-down. You can select either Across then Down, or Down then Across from the drop-down menu. You can decide how information in the repeating areas within the catalog will be repeated by selecting a choice from the Repeating Areas drop-down. You could have each area have its own repeating layout, or you could have the columns repeat down the page, or you could have the rows repeat across the page. In the Insert button group, you will find the buttons that you can use to actually insert data into the repeating sections within the page. 
To do this, first place your insertion marker at the place in the catalog where you would like to insert a merge field. Then click the Text Field button to insert a merge field into the selected location. Repeat this as needed to fill in the repeatable areas with the necessary product information. If the catalog layout that you've selected contains a picture placeholder for a picture data field, click the picture placeholder to open the Insert Picture Field dialog box. Use this dialog box to select the field within your data source that contains the image of the product, and then click the OK button to finish. To manually insert a picture field, you would simply click the Picture Field button and then select the name of the picture field in your data source that you want to insert. Note that the reference made in the Picture Data Source field is simply the name of the image file, including the file extension. So for example, picture.jpg could be a valid reference within that field. You can then select the folder that contains the pictures when using the Insert Picture Field dialog box. If you click the Picture Field button and then choose the More Picture Options command from the drop-down menu that appears, you can open the Insert Picture Field dialog box again. At the bottom of this dialog box, note that you can click the Specify Folders button to expand the dialog box to show the list of folders within which publisher should look for pictures with the names that you specify. You can add the folder that contains your product pictures to the existing list by clicking the Add button to open the browse window where you can select the folder that contains the product pictures. Alternatively, you can simply move those pictures into one of the folders that are already specified within this dialog box. When you're finished, simply click the OK button within this dialog box to close the Insert Picture Field dialog box. You can use the buttons in the Preview Page button group to preview the data that you have in your catalog before merging. You can click the Preview Results button to see the data appear within the publication page. You can then use the adjacent arrow buttons to scroll through the data shown on screen. When you are satisfied with the preview, you can then continue to merge the data by clicking one of the buttons within the Merge button group on the Format tab of the Catalog Tools Contextual tab. You can click the Merge to New button to merge the results to a new catalog publication that you can then edit and print as needed. You can click the Add to Existing button to add the output to an existing catalog publication which you can select within the Open Publication window that appears. You can send the output to the Printer Options area of the Backstage view by simply clicking the Print button in the Merge button group on the Format tab of the Catalog Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. You can then select your print options and click the large print button to print the catalog directly. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.